Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. Here you can see the suspect has 3 kills, 66 damage round, with 1 3 kill round. Uh, no headshots it seems. He's going to be flashing his way up middle. One guy is there, back left. He's going to spray him down. He is able to take down Vortex. Actually picks up the AWP as well. And now he's flanking the terrorists here at Long, which seem to be fighting all of the rest of the CTs. So that's going to be a little bit difficult for them. Suspect coming up on this last terrorist, he goes for the knife kill, and he's not quite able to get it. Right now, it doesn't seem like anything seems out of place. He doesn't seem to be walling, seems to be just playing incredibly aggressively. Maybe he's a smurf, it's very possible. Either way, he's going to throw a nade into the B tunnels, it looks like. His teammate gets taken out by Zigzag. One guy here peeks out, he's able to take down Robin. I I think they might think that guy was the other guy that took out his teammate for a moment, but no, he's coming back. He's going to be watching B-tons again, and it looks like Zigzag is going to rotate off. His crosshair placement is a little weird, watching the walls and such. Either way, he's watching towards middle right now, checks towards tunnels, watches towards mid again. So it's kind of good that he's pivoting, just because that makes it seem like he doesn't know where the person is. One guy pushes out middle after that flash. The flash got him pretty perfectly. His flashes in general are pretty perfectly timed. That does not mean that he is walling though. I mean, it could be coincidental and it could just be, you know, his typical, uh, the way he typically rotates. But we'll have to keep watching and see if these tendencies persist. One guy in middle, he takes a couple shots. He isn't quite able to connect with him. And one guy pushing through lower. Oh. He couldn't react to that because he couldn't even see him. The guy had a little bit better angle on it. Tries to pick this guy in mid, does not connect. Three peaks, and that actually looked like it was on. It just did not... I think he got CS goat. Knows he's on the bottom now, it looks like. Just checking the bottom again. Guy's on top now, and he aims on him through the door and picks him. So that awareness right there is pretty strange, isn't it, guys? Just the fact that he knows if he's going to peek from the bottom or if he's going to peek from the top and how well he's lining up through that door. Hmm, I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Going to make his way back over here towards middle. Peeks up top, is able to pick the guy up top, and there is still one more guy up there. Tries to shoot him, he can hardly see it through the smoke. One guy on bottom, he couldn't see him at all through the smoke, and he's able to take him down. Takes a shot through the door here. A couple of no scopes. Um, not sure if he's actually going to ever connect with this guy by doing this, but. Alright, last terrorist is in Upper B Tunnels. He doesn't know exactly where to go. He's in a pretty hard situation here, and he's only got a Deagle. Pushing down towards lower, gets taken down instantly from Eclipse. So right now the score is 6-2, to two, and I think that that one shot through the door made the suspect go, well he wasn't even through the door, it was just an angular advantage where he couldn't see the guy. I think that one shot made him go, okay, no more hiding my walls, I'm gonna go out, full out with this shit and just kinda take these guys out because they're walling me, even though in that case I don't think that they were. Puffins here in middle, gets peeked by Eclipse. Suspect tries to go for the trade, does not quite connect with it. A couple shots through the door. And his teammates are going to flank him and take down Puffin, which is going to leave just one terrorist left. Zigzag with a deagle. And uh, the bomb is down Speedway. So there is really no chance that he's going to win this, as far as I can tell. I mean, he could pull off some insanely dirty round where he just like one digs everyone, but here we go. Guy's going to attack him from the side. No one had connected with each other there. Suspect's gonna push around here. One guy, or zigzags in the middle, he's taking more shots at him. At least he's gonna get knifed. And he does get knifed, but he's at least able to take down Ostrich first, who is also trying to knife him. Alright, so the suspect's gonna make his way towards middle. One guy on the bottom, he takes a shot towards him. He at least knew he was down there, even though that flash did get him pretty badly, I think. Kind of aimed on the guy through the door there. He knows he's there, peeks out perfectly on him, and takes him down. Two more guys making their way up long. He's ready for the cross. 
I'm gonna pull that AWP. Actually, gonna change it to an incendiary grenade, which I feel like he could have just stuck with that AWP and just shot him as they went. But he's gonna make them back off now, peek and try to flank them. He does leg vortex. A flashbang comes in, and he's gonna peek out with this. 5-7, <laughs> which is kind of a shadow of what it used to be while running around like that. But, uh, you know, he was not able to connect with it. And he goes down. A little bit too overconfident there. Ends up walking into this fire by accident. Gonna throw a flashbang here. Actually, kind of flashes himself a little bit. Is able to turn away from it, though. Checks towards T-spawn. Doesn't see anyone. He knows that there's one guy in lower B tunnels. He's gonna... He's able to take down Puffin. That increased rate of fire sure helps with that gun now, but honestly, I still think it sucks. Either way, Suspect's going to make his way towards Long. There is a CT sitting in sight waiting for him. And the Suspect's going to use his incredible pre-fire ability to come around and aim perfectly on them. Okay, two guys down. They're going to defuse that bomb, and uh, that round goes to the counter-terrorists again. All right, Overwatch resolution, and here we go. Minor disruption griefing. Oh, well, insufficient evidence there. He wasn't actually griefing any of his teammates or anything like that. Major disruption, other external assistance. Um, was he speed hacking? Automated jumping scripts, upside down views? No, no, not at all. Insufficient there as well. Then we got major disruption, aim assistance, and no, that looked like his natural aiming ability, but honestly, I don't think he was doing that great considering he was definitely using a vision assistance. And we could tell by the way he was peeking people through that door, how they would peek from the top, he would aim right on top of them. If they peeked from the bottom, he would aim on the bottom part right through the door. And, you know, his aim was just perfectly on target depending on where, no matter where they peeked. He was never caught off guard in that situation. His flashbangs were perfect and all that kind of stuff. Just too much evidence stacked against them so evident beyond reasonable doubt let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you agree do you disagree hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day